I serve as the whip for the Progressive yeah. Caucus. We don't have the votes. Uh, and we continue to say that. And people are like, well, why you don't have the votes? We don't have the votes because we don't have legislation finished. Just in terms of the substance of this bill, right? Are you happy with it? I mean, we obviously believe that there, there's always more that you can do. Yeah. None of us actually dreamt that this was even a possibility. That, right, child care and pre-K and, you know, $150 billion for housing. I noticed that you did not say anything about paid family leave or prescription drug costs. How much of it is a blow if those two things don't make it into this? Anything that doesn't make it is a blow. So you got this is still a work in progress, it sounds like. <laughs> right. I'm trying, I, you guys sound like you are ready to accept the framework as is, but ideally would like to keep negotiating. Is that an accurate assessment of, the, of your position? No, what we're saying is we, we support this framework. Um, we I mean, obviously, this framework doesn't have the, the, yeah, the expansions, we, doesn't have paid leave, it's not in there, right? Right. The, the position that the, the caucus has taken is to say this is a good framework. A framework in itself isn't enough, right? Because there's still people who are saying, I might want more, right? Um, and I'm not comfortable with getting rid of these pieces. Uh, and so short of having legislation that could be voted on, that's agreed upon, you know, we, can, we can't accept the framework that the president puts forth is going to be you know, what ends up making it into legislation. And then the, the reporting is that Speaker Pelosi said, don't embarrass us. Did she say that to you? I, th I think that there are two senators at this moment that are obstructing that could pose embarrassment. Like, why haven't they agreed to this framework explicitly? Because they're not expected to. But right? Why like, that expectation should be set by the president, should be set by the leaders in the Democratic Senate caucus. We should say, I need you to agree to a framework. I need you to agree to drafting legislation. I need you to agree to be in this room, right, for however long it takes for us to put pen to paper. And instead of coming to strong arm House members on passing half of the piece of legislation the for the promise that, like, somehow, even though we couldn't get Manchin and Cinema on board for, like, the last couple of months, that somehow tomorrow, after this bill passes, they're just going to be like, oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Well, yeah, I, it just, like, it's it, just... It's silly. Well, it's revealing that you guys do not trust them at all. No, and nobody should. If they want people to trust them, then their word has to be bond. And so far, their word hasn't. Is the speaker playing an active role in expediting the sort of framework into a bill that you can pass? The only thing that I see is people doing everything that they can to cave to the demands of mansion and cinema mm -hmm. and not actually stand and say, no, you need to move. We've moved as much as we can. Like that, that is where we are at. They have made demands. We've conceded on those demands, and they still have yet to say yes. 